Most of us have an instinctive sense that children are more creative than adults. Albert Einstein once said, To stimulate creativity, one must develop the childlike inclination for play. Experts on childhood brain development have proven that young children spend as much as two-thirds of their time in non-reality, or imaginative play, each and every day. However, as adults, our beliefs about creativity begin to change. Unfortunately, we are taught of the many inappropriate times to be creative in a childlike manner, the ones in which we are to be serious, polite, and pay attention to the subject at hand. Using our innate imaginative abilities in the way children do is often considered a lack of self-control. And unfortunately, high-spirited curiosity and creative imagination begins to decline for many as they mature. But from an internal standpoint, we can harness this playful powerhouse of flowing energy and use it to our advantage. The truth of our being is unlimited creativity. We each have the ability to access the unseen realms of creation and explore in ways our mind cannot often logically understand. We do this simply by choosing what we focus our attention and awareness on and realizing that what we experience will be determined by the way we feel. Practice in pretending assists us in coming up with alternative ways of being and different manners of viewing an issue. It also results in more creativity and better problem solving. Most of our attention and awareness is directed toward and into our physical experience as a human being. However, through wave particle energy consciousness, a part of our being continues to permeate the unseen realms of creation. With playful imaginary scenarios, we connect more deeply with the portion of us that resides in this invisible realm. So why do we often forget to utilize this particular skill and its dynamic ability to create? Somewhere around the age of 10 to 12, the natural tendency to daydream and wonder declines sharply. As previously mentioned, this is due to authoritative reminders to gain what is considered control of the self. Being forced to turn our attention to logic, reason, and facts in school, we spend more of our time and brain power in physical reality instead of creative imaginary scenarios. In the early years, children don't generally worry about whether they're wrong. They bravely enter into new territory, willing to make mistakes, and often assuming they will without any uneasiness about it. As we get older, we quickly learn that being wrong can have negative consequences. This happens at school, work, and many times socially. However, creativity and originality require a willingness to be wrong and make mistakes, and this causes many to avoid it. Many things that seem related to having self-control, such as lists, facts, and being grounded in physical reality, appear to assist us in diminishing the risk of perceived failure. We find familiarity and comfort in routine and rely less on imaginative behaviors. The obvious tool to think differently, problem solve more creatively, and manifest more of what is wanted is to pretend. Our creative imagination is the doorway to infinity. We simply have to move past the discomfort and fear of going outside of our daily limits. Creative freedom is about being able to freely explore all options and to have fun doing so. Our creative imagination is what allows us to access the infinite possibilities of creation and solutions to any situation we face. It is where we can explore any and all possibilities. There is complete freedom in the realm of childlike play. It is a state of being that allows us to innocently and spontaneously discover and explore ourselves in our creative imagination. If we cannot experience spontaneous and innocent childlike play in our creative imagination, we will never experience it in our physical world. Any lack of freedom within our creative imagination will in turn keep us from entering the most creative state of being. And this state of being is what manifests miracles. Within our childlike creative imagination, we access the deep undercurrents of creation. These deep undercurrents of energy are what create the physical experience. What seems like fantasies to most are actually a connection to what is already created on an energetic realm. 
Our mind considers them fantasies only because our description of the energy does not correspond to physical reality as we currently experience it. Childlike imagination contains within it the ability for the logical mind to step beyond itself and move into the unseen. This gives the logical mind the option to explore and pursue paths that it would not do otherwise. The logical mind can only see what is possible based on what it has experienced in the past, but it has the ability to examine any new possibilities through the use of creative imagination. However, the conscious mind must give the logical mind permission to step out of its own self-imposed limits and give it consent to enter into the playground of freedom where it can engage spontaneously and innocently to discover new possibilities. There are many techniques to do this, and for most, it's as simple as entering a dreamlike state and moving freely within it. If you have difficulty allowing yourself to do this, try this simple exercise. Imagine for a moment that you are eight years old. School is canceled for the day unexpectedly, and you've been given the freedom to do anything you want. Where do you go? What are you doing? Who is with you? What do you see around you? Allow yourself to be completely free with no limitations on the possibilities. Give yourself 10 to 15 minutes to explore this creative realm, and longer if you find yourself submersed in the fun of your imagination. If you choose, you can repeat this exercise several times per day to create a new connection with your childlike creative imagination. This childlike imagination is where the impossible becomes possible, where the possible becomes probable, and where the probable becomes certainty. What we experience in our creative imagination has an element of reality to it. No matter what we experience in this playful realm, there's a flow of energy that has the ability to create what we experience and manifest those things in our physical reality. We each have the ability to bring our desires into the physical experience by directing our creative life energy through childlike innocence and playfulness. The essence of the creation process is that we can use our consciousness to create a ripple in the fabric of creation anytime we choose. This ripple moves out into the energetic realm and begins the process of making the physical counterpart. With the creative recipe of enough high-spirited focus, unbridled imagination, and playful feeling states, it has no choice but to show up.